Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Lion, and for today's video, number 70, I'm going to show you about Adobe Animate CC's new tag swatches. And so what they are is you have your normal coloring, so this is just coloring with a color green, and um, <clears throat> so you can just, you know, keep coloring stuff. Hold on, let me just make it simpler. Boop, ba doop And, um, what you can do is you can turn this into a tag swatch. And what it means is, uh, let's first create a new swatch. So we're going to use that green. And we're going to name, we're going to hit the tag swatch button. So in case you didn't see it, it was this little icon that was over here. Um, so we're just going to call this neon green T swatch. So or else put tag swatch. This way you can totally get what it means, get what it says. All right, so boom. So now we've got that, and so now, without touching this shape or this shape, this shape is, all, by the way, is going to be separate, I believe, just because we did this separate from the other. So the two shapes are separate, but if I go into the swatches, and I click on my tag swatches, and then I choose a different color and hit OK, boom, even though the shape wasn't selected, the shape changes color, and I think that is pretty cool. So just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to just do a couple more of these uh, shapes. And then I'm going to go into my tag swatches. Uh, double click. And then I'm going to go back to that neon green color and hit OK. Boom! And now those uh, shapes are back to that neon green color. Um, so why would I use this? Well, let's say for example you have a bunch of different characters on the screen and um, they're all using like a, I don't know, let's say like a name tag or uh, they all have to wear the same shirt color. Now you can change all their shirt colors without having to go into like different movie clips and different layers and stuff like that. Alright, so there's tag swatches. Pretty cool. Anyhow, if you like this video, please subscribe and comment. And uh, that's news for now. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.